What's going on YouTube? This is Jim Afanis, aka Viper Magic, and I have some good news for my fellow Collector's Edition hunters out there. Just the other day, 343 Industries, the now curator of the Halo universe, announced that anyone who buys the Halo 5 Collector's Edition will be able to trade in the bundled digital edition for a physical copy of the game. Now, I don't even own an Xbox 360 yet. I went ahead and I pre-ordered the collector's edition because uh, I'm a Halo guy. I mean, that was it was either going to be Halo or Gears of War that was my entry point back into the Microsoft universe. I think Phil Spencer has done nothing short of God's work in turning that company around after the mess that Don Matrick left it in. So I knew it was only a matter of time before I jumped into that universe as well. Um, so obviously when I heard that there was a Halo a, a Collector's Edition, I bought it sight unseen, console unowned. Now since then we have learned that the console, or the Collector's Edition rather, is going to come with this really cool two-part statue, which can be broken and facing each other. On one side, you have our man, John Spartan 117, the Master Chief. And on the other side, you have Spartan Locke. And I know the game's going to take place jumping between the Master Chief and Locke. And the rumor, or the, the way that it's being advertised is there may be a traitor in the midst or has Spartan 117 gone rogue. We don't know. But the cool thing is the statue, they can either be standing side by side or you can turn it and lock the bases together, and now they're facing off against each other. I think that's really, really cool. If you haven't seen a link, I'll post one in the uh, description box below. You could, you could get a nice blown up photo of it. But anyways, I was really frustrated because as a collector, I don't want the digital copy of the game. And I understand why they're doing it. Um, people who get the limited collector's edition will actually get theirs, I believe they said about a week before launch. So it's kind of an incentive that, oh, you can be the first to play, but you got to fork it up, you know. And I believe, I want to say it was $249 maybe, uh, maybe $299, uh, $250, so $249, okay. $249, always prepared, don't worry, I'm always prepared for these things. And uh, yeah, so it's $249, and um, it's a lot of money, okay, for a game and a statue, but it comes with a lot of cool goodies. Um, it comes with little, you know, art books and that sort of thing. But the weird thing is it came with a steel book, which is the nice hard collector's edition case. If you guys watch my Batman video I do with my wife uh, a couple weeks ago, you saw the really cool steel book I had in there, which now they gave you both the regular, the regular plastic game case and the steel book, which was a little odd. This is even more odd that they were going to initially give you the steel book, but no game to put into it. So you're just going to have an empty case sitting on your shelf. Thankfully, they have announced that if you want to, they'll, they're going to figure out the details later, but it's you can trade it in. So I think that is great. Now, I know there's a convenience factor that goes with having a game on your hard drive. Obviously, you don't need to swap disks or anything like that. But that said, most collectors want to collect. We want stuff. We build shrines to our favorite games. We have bookcases full of their, our favorite titles. So I don't want something digital. I want to be able to hold it in my hand. And then they're, luckily they're going to do that. And I think that's a great move. Um, I was on the fence, honestly. I was really on the fence. Uh, and I haven't seen the Xbox One Collector's Edition. Uh, I'm sure they're going to brand some sort of Xbox in the Halo theme. And my wife was teasing me, like, which one are you going to get? Because I'm not going to get both, obviously. Um, I'm going to get one or the other. And uh, I haven't seen it yet, so I don't know. Maybe the artwork's awesome. Maybe it sucks. But it was really a strong case that I was going to jump ship on this collector's edition. And then 343 must have read my mind and all my bitching I've done on the internet. And they have said that uh, closer to launch, they will give you uh, details and you will be able to make the swap. So... I think the uh, overarching, you know, the crazy people like me, the overarching fan base who was a, you know, is a diehard collector is very, very happy. So, again, good on you, Microsoft. Good on you, 343. I'm really looking forward to just getting more into this game. Uh, I got to do a uh, little playthrough with my buddy Brent when he got the uh, beta. Maybe, geez, 
five months ago now? I lost track. I did a video about it a long time ago, uh, ranted and raved about it. It looked amazing. I'm dying to get back into that universe. I'm ready to go and you know fill, start filling my backlog of some of those really good Xbox One exclusive games like uh, Forza and um, Sunset Overdrive and Dead Rising 3, the Apocalypse Edition. So I'm really, really excited. So not long now. Uh, we got a couple months left until Halo is a reality. Anyways, collectors rejoice. As always, I want to thank you guys for watching. Please do me a favor. Comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about this. Let me know what you guys think about the collector's edition overall. Is it a really cool statue? Am I nuts for pre-ordering it? Am I nuts for spending this much money on a piece of plastic? Probably. As always, I want to thank you guys for watching. And until next time, I will see you guys on the other side.